So with the increase of fertilizers, both organically and synthetic, uh, you always want to try to look for a safer way and better alternative. Uh, so we're going to show you a great fertilizer that is free and a lot of fertilizer companies don't want you to know about that with worm castings they, like i said they have a lot of nutrients and trace minerals they have a high mpk of a 553 which is great the good thing i love about adding worm casting to our garden is it's going to help fight diseases and pests it's going to help retain a lot of moisture and improve the quality of your soil it's been 90 days that we last time harvested our worm bins and so what we want to do is harvest these and collect all of these castings and we're going to store them in here in a nice cool dry place now at the end of the video we're going to show you four ways where you can add this to your garden your favorite accessories the black gloves black gloves a nice worm bin uh, the screen we we normally use for worm casting a quarter inch screening you could go with a half screen or you don't really have to screen at all you can just basically take your worm castings everything that you have in the bin and put it directly into the garden but you do i like to sift it out because i like to make sure i don't get the worms you can add worms if they were naturally from your garden naturally composting worms but these were from uncle jim's um website we're not affiliated so but we will put the link down below he has tons of uh sales every so often but see we'll collect the worms like this and just allow only the the finished compost and the finished castings to go through here along with the cocoons and uh, that's it to build one of these simple bins all you will have to do is you can start off with some bedding like some cocoa core some peat moss some compost some topsoil or just some regular soil and then add some food waste that we normally do to help with our keeping the earth green as much as we can as our part and then you'll add some grit on top of the food like some crushed pulverized eggshells coffee grinds sand uh, food grade de or some vermiculite and what i normally like to do is i feed one side at a time so one week i'll feed this side and the other time I'll feed the other side so that way for instance if you feed your worms this side one week you could come over here and get all of the worm casting without uh, sifting and whatnot all the worms will migrate to where the food's at and it just basically helps you go from that end oh, got a cocoon look at that it's a nice little cocoon and that goes in there so that will hatch there soon Now, what do you plan to do with all of that stuff? So with this is what I'll do is I'll add it back to the bedding, to the worm bins, so that way they can continue breaking it down. I might even put it as top dressing, uh, but mostly for the beddings for the, the worms. This was, what was this? Oh, a leak. Oh. Maybe we're loving that leak for people that say don't feed them citrus. Look at this. They say don't feed them citrus or onions type ordeal. They don't like it. They loving it. Is it because um, these are a diff these aren't red wigglers? These are, is it the kind of worms? I don't know. It's just interesting. If you see this, comment down below about it. Look at this nice fluffy castings that we can use for whatever we wish. This is going to be nice. This is a lot. We probably got about 20 
About I, 20 gallons. Yeah, I would say about 20 gallons worth of black gold. Mm hmm So now we're just going to put these worms back into the bin. And we're going to cover this, keep it in the garage. We're going to put half of this so uh, uh, unfinished waste in here to cover it with some more uh, compost and cocoa core. Now, one of the ways you can use this worm casting is you can add it to your seed starting mix. Now, your seeds already have the enough nutrients that it needs to sprout, but adding this will allow the plant to thrive after it gets the first leaves. If you add the worm casting to your potting mix, when you transplant your plant into that mix, it's going to start your plants off in the right foot. You can also use worm casting as a top dressing. So what you would do with that is you take a handful, scratch it in about a quarter inch deep around that plant. That way that nutrients, the soil can take up that nutrients from the castings. And how often would you do that? You could do that about once a month. The last way is adding it as a worm tea. Now with the worm tea, you could use it as a foliar spray or a soil drenching and it allows the plant to take up that nutrients right there and then. We did a video about this. We'll put the links down below. If you're interested in learning how to build this simple worm bin to increase your plant yields, make sure you click on the video next to us.